Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus uh, exam. So this is the 2009 exam. Um, this is question four. We're on the non-calculator portion now, so I gotta do this all by hand. Let R be the region of the first quadrant enclosed by the graphs y equals 2x, y equals x squared, shown in the figure above, find the area of R. So I'm gonna add up rectangles. That's what an integral, to, to, to get this area, I'm gonna add up these rectangles. What's the height of each of these rectangles? It's, it's this y value minus this y value. So the height of this rectangle, if I, if I think about it, the height of this rectangle, didn't like that, is this top function, which is 2x minus the bottom function, which is x squared. It's the y value, right? Because this is y equals x squared, this is y equals 2x, and the difference in the two y values is the height, okay? I'm going to multiply that by dx to get the because the width of this rectangle is dx. So the area of this rectangle is the width times the height. And so the total area of the rectangle is the sum of all the rectangles. Which rectangles? I want to do the rectangles from x equals 0 to x equals 2. 0 to 2. So this is x squared minus 1 third x cubed from 0 to 2. So that's uh, 4. The 0 doesn't really do anything. Minus 1 third times 8. That's 4 minus 8 thirds. It's 12 thirds minus 8 thirds. It's 4 thirds. Okay. Find the region R of the base of a solid. For this solid at each x, the cross section perpendicular to the x-axis has this area and find the volume of that solid. Okay. So now I'm going to make a three dimension. I'm going to say at each x, the cross section perpendicular to the x-axis, that's what this rectangle is, has an area given by that. So the area of that little vertical shape is a of x. Okay, like above here is some area, it's like some sinusoid or something like that, some weird shape. The volume of such a shape is the area times the thickness. And so this is the volume of that shape. And then I want to add up all the volume of all these slices from x equals 0 to 2. So that's the integral from 0 to 2 sine pi over 2x times uh, dx. Um, the, it's negative cosine pi over 2x. But I got to like divided by pi over 2, right? Kind of by like chain rule, so to speak, or u substitution from 0 to 2 being negative 2 over pi times cosine of pi cosine of pi minus cosine of 0 okay negative 2 over pi times cosine of pi is negative 1 cosine of 0 is 1 so that's negative 2 over pi times negative 2 that's equal to 4 over pi Okay, C. Another solid has the same base R. For this solid, the cross sections perpendicular axis are squares, right? But do not evaluate the integral expression for the volume of the solid. Okay. Well, the volume. So if this this is one side of a square, the area of that square would be two x minus x squared squared, right? The side squared is the area of the squared because this is one side. And then I multiply by the thickness of that square to get the volume of that little sort of square prism. And I'm going to integrate from 0 to 2. I'm going to add up all those little prisms from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Okay, let's look at the answers. 4 thirds, 4 over pi. And, oh, crap. Did they tell us? Ah, I didn't, I didn't read that. I went too fast. I was trying to finish this question quickly. They wanted me to do it like this. Okay, and that's different. Those are these are different shapes than this shape, right? When I cut it up like that. So not this one. Okay. What is the width of each rectangle or the length of each rectangle? It's this x value minus this x value. Well, this value here is y equals x squared or converting it to the x value, x is equal to the square root of y. And this value is y equals 2x 
but converting it to the x value, x is equal to 1 half y. So I want to do the right x value minus the left x value. That's sort of the length of this. So it would be root y minus 1 half y. So root y minus 1 half y. That would be the length of this square, or length of this square. Then I got a square to find the area. Then I multiply by the thickness to get the volume. And then I'm going to integrate from y. Now I'm integrating over y, so I'm going from y equals 0 to y equals 4. So that would be the setup instead. And that's it. All right. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.